If you're a regular Linux user like me and you're trying to run Android apps and games on your PC, Waydroid might sound like a good option at first. I thought the same when I first heard about it. It looked promising. The first time I installed it, a few games worked, and some crashed. I was okay with that back then, thinking things would improve over time. But what actually happened is the opposite. After the last two updates, things just got worse. Most games crash now, even with ARM translation enabled. The only games that still seem to work are Clash of Clans and an x86 version of Free Fire. If this is the best we can expect from Waydroid, how is it supposed to be better than something like Bluestacks? While searching for solutions, I found that there's very little clarity. Sure, there's a Waydroid documentation page, but it's mostly vague or points to unofficial setup notes from other users. Nothing is clearly defined. On top of that, the developers don't even share updates about the current state or known issues on their official site. These problems have been around for quite a while, and yet, nothing meaningful has been done to fix them. Some might say it's open source, and maybe I'm expecting too much. But really, what's the point of releasing something as open source if it doesn't work for its main purpose? Most Linux users already have solid alternatives for typical apps. What we really want is to play Android games, just like Windows users do. There aren't many Android apps that a Linux user would desperately need, but we do like the idea of playing mobile games on our machines. So, saying that Waydroid doesn't really work isn't an exaggeration. We can only hope that someone eventually forks the project and puts serious effort into fixing all these issues. But as of now, Waydroid is simply unusable.